Hi guys, it's Grandma Cheap Cheap and I'm back here in my kitchen in Southern Colorado. I'm going to do a um, inspired dish from Linda's Pantry. Hi Linda. Um, I bought a spaghetti squash last week. I must use it. And I looked at her video this morning and I had most of the things that uh, would make me a good little make us a spaghetti squash lasagna bake. Uh, this is a new uh, hairdo. This is one of the new hairdos. It's kind of tapered on the on the neck, so I like that better, and uh, has a little color in the front. So uh, a new Grandma Cheap Cheap, uh, a new look for Grandma Cheap Cheap. Okay, I'm gonna get right into the ingredients. I just had bulk sausage, uh, so I put a half a pound, I'm browning, a half a pound of just um, original bulk sausage. I have that browning. Now, two stalks of celery and a half uh, ch chopped onion. And now I'm putting that in the pan so it can cook with the um, the sausage, okay? And I'll show you how that appears now. Okay. Smells beautiful. Okay. So while that. Um, Onion and celery is cooking. Um, I have a container of ricotta cheese. I don't know how much I'm going to use on that. A little, maybe a third of a package of shredded Fiesta blend cheese. These are tomatoes that I canned this summer. It was supposed to be a tomato jam, but for some reason it didn't set. That doesn't mean that you throw it out. It just means that you use it as a, uh, a sauce. So what it is, and what really made me want to do this, it's those baby yellow and red tomatoes. Um, I have those in here, so that's that some sage that I still haven't rubbed up for the winter but it's out on the porch uh, a can of spaghetti meat sauce and I don't know whether or not I'm going to use my parmesan tree cheese or tomato paste but I've microwaved my um, spaghetti squash in the micro obviously in the microwave for about 13 minutes and it's been sitting out for about 10 minutes. I think I can turn off my pan here. Okay. Now the way Linda did it was to because I've never had the spaghetti squash before. Cut off the ends. Okay. And it is very soft on the inside. I'm going to get a plate. I just cut this down. I 
Okay. Now, here's the inside of this spaghetti squash. And I'm just going to scoop out the seeds here. And I guess you don't need to just look at me scooping out the seeds. After I get this all cleaned up, I'll come back with you, okay? See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I have that um, squash all cleaned out with the seeds. And as you can see, the squash has already started to appear like spaghetti. So I'm just going to take a fork and help it along by running my fork up and down. Okay. That's one side of it. And here's another. Okay. I've got quite a bit. And this is a, a good meal. I was originally going to make it um, vegetarian and have no meat. But I needed to put um, something else in there to give it a little hardiness. And I will work on a recipe to make this vegetarian. Maybe carrots would have been hardy, but this is the way I'm going to do it. My sausage spaghetti bake. Okay, now um, I have a casserole dish here. And I'm going to put this spaghetti. Oh, I wanted to put some sage in my spaghetti. And I'm just crumbling it up because it has dried out. And this um, sage I used for my stuffing uh, at Thanksgiving time and it is very potent. You don't need but a little bit of it. And that's a nice little base for our lasagna. And I still have some more that I want to use. Okay. And this, let me see if I can get any more out of here because waste not, want not. Okay. There we go. Let me clean up a little bit around here. Now with my with my uh, sausage, I'm going to put first of all my canned tomatoes. And Mr. Can you open this for me, please? Thank you. Had to have the strong arm to open up my tomato. Okay. Mmm, lovely, lovely smell. And I may not even need 
Let me show you how beautiful those canned tomatoes are. Can you see them? I had fun canning those too. Okay. So let me see how thick or not thick this is. It is pretty sloopy here. I want to make it a little, have it a little more body, so I will open a can of tomato paste. <clears throat> and let me tell you guys about my my um can opener. About two months or six weeks ago, I bought a, a, a can opener, just a hand one that you twist. Because it doesn't take up any room. I can put it in a drawer and it works just fine. Well, it broke after about a month. Took it back. It was a Farberware. And everybody um, knows that we love Walmart, so it was a Walmart um, purchase. Took it back, got another one. Brought it home. After about a week, that one broke. I don't have time to go back to customer service and Walmart every time you turn around, so I just took it back and got a electric can opener. I really didn't want the electric can opener because um, cause it takes up just some more room in the cupboard or my uh, bookcase that I've made into a um, supply cabinet for my my appliances but um, it's it's okay but not okay you know what I mean alright so I've used a, about a half a can of tomato paste plus a jar of my uh, canned tomatoes and if you don't can and don't have anything I think a maybe 10 ounce can of stewed tomatoes would be just fine and to that I'm going to put this mixture right on top of here okay there we go now on top of this and please forgive my messiness I'll have to use that for something else I'm going to um, put a little ricotta cheese and uh, on ordinarily I would put some nutmeg you know um, that's my thing now nutmeg tastes very good with uh, it enhances the flavor of a lot of things but since I have the sage and the sage is so uh, potent I won't use that but if you don't use sage just put a little bit a sprinkle of ricotta on a uh, uh, nutmeg on top of your ricotta now I'm going to just dot our bake with ricotta cheese have your oven preheated on 350 350 is my universal bake temperature okay and on top of that I'm gonna put because I want to use it up um, this Parmesan grated cheese. It's just the Walmart brand. And I used, I put, put it on liberally because I want to use it up. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven and when I come back it will be all baked 
and I'll tell you how long it took to get all nice and bubbly. This will be our lunch. We'll have it with a salad. I'll see you soon, and bye, guys. Okay, gang, um, the bake spaghetti squash bake is ready. It took about 40 minutes and we are ready to eat. I'm going to serve it up now. I let it sit for a while to see if it would set and it looks set pretty good. Let's see. Oh my, this looks so good. I also, um, on top of the Parmesan cheese, I also um, shredded a little bit of that, put a little bit of that shredded cheese that I had just to make the the top a little more um, crusty is the only word that I can think of but this looks amazing I can't wait <clears throat> to try it as you know it was inspired by uh, Linda's Pantry so go over and support her and let me just take another peek at it here please leave me a thumbs up if you think that you'll like this um, recipe write me at grandmacheepcheep at gmail.com follow me on twitter at grandmacheepo enjoy the rest of your day until later goodbye now